What's up everyone, this is Mike from MyGadgets Wall and this video is about the PlayStation 5, the HDMI cable. So guys, I made the video about the PlayStation 5 unboxing and I told you guys that the HDMI 2.1 cable is not included. It's just the cable is not included. It's not that the PlayStation 5 cannot do HDMI 2.1. But the cable that comes with it, it's not HDMI 2.1. It's HDMI 2.0B cable. So to show that, I'll show you like how it works okay so it's still gonna do the 4k 120 hertz let me take you to the settings menu and show you what's going on so right now playstation 5 is connected with the cable that it came with some people are saying oh no playstation has verified it's the hdmi 2.1 cable but i want to show you something really very interesting so go to the system and not system actually let's go to the uh screen and video and let's go to the video output information so you see that the right now the cable that came with the uh, PlayStation 5 is capable of doing the 4K 60 Hertz and up to 120 Hertz. And you can see right here, right? So this cable right now is plugged in and it's from the PlayStation 5, the cable that came with, right? I have the serial number and everything in my other video. I put the description like what cable is that? So surprisingly, they ship the PlayStation 4 equal cable, PlayStation 4 Pro cable that came with it. So what I'm trying to do is, right now you have seen everything, right? It's 120 hertz. I'm gonna connect the PlayStation 5 with this cable right here. So I have a couple of cables I wanna show you first. So this one right here, uh, I don't know if you can see properly, but this right here, this cable came from the Xbox Series X. This one can do the, um, ultra high speed so that's what it says ultra high speed so this is hdmi 2.1 good job there xbox send the right cable future proof right now the cable that is connected that one came with the playstation but this cable if you remember the one the dotted one remember this is from the playstation 4 4 pro so what i'm gonna do is connect this playstation 4 cable to the ps5 and you still gonna see that it's gonna produce the same results. Surprise, right? And now this cable was not HDMI 2.1, was it? I mean, at that time when they had uh, PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 4 Pro. So if you guys are saying that this can do 4K 120 Hertz, so Digital Foundry has confirmed that it's a HDMI 2.1 cable. Sony has confirmed it's a 2.1 HDMI 2.1 cable just because it can do 4K 120 Hertz. So there's a here's the proof, guys. This cable right here is old cable. This one is HDMI 2.0 cable that came with the PlayStation 4. And I'm gonna connect this one right now. No video edits, just straight. I'm gonna take out the cable and let's see what happens. So this is the menu right here, guys. I'm gonna just unplug the cable came with the PlayStation 5, which is doing 120 Hertz. Nothing wrong with that, but it's not full spec, 48 gigabits. HDMI 2.1 cable guys that's what all I'm trying to say it, it will do 4k 120 for you it's gonna be chroma sub sampling 422 right it can go over that because this is not a 48 gigabit cable so let's just take out the cable okay I'm taking that out this is the one came with the PlayStation 5 right right here took it out taking out from the back too so now I'm going down to I'm downgrading the cable actually. I'm using the PlayStation 4 cable. So let's put the 4 PlayStation 4 cable. Okay, I connected by the TV. Now let's connect it to the PlayStation 5. The PlayStation 4 cable guys going to PlayStation 5 right there. Oh man, holding phone and doing it is a little... Okay, so you're gonna see that we're gonna be back. I haven't changed anything, just took out the cable, plugged the cable. And now we're gonna have to wait and see what happens. Okay, here we are, right? So no settings change, nothing changed, just plug the PlayStation 4 cable. Now see. <laughs> It is funny. It is very, very funny, guys. You know, a lot of people were yelling, kind of like 
I can I can feel them yelling in the keyboard, uh, you know, when they were commenting on my other video, disliking my video. Guys, you can do that. You can you can all do that. That's fine. But we have to agree with one thing. If Sony is not providing us the ultra high speed cable, the HDMI 2.1, that's wrong. And wrong is going to stay wrong. Whether they do the freaking official statement, whether the digital foundry checks the cable. So, guys, the supported resolutions are right here. And I'm using the PlayStation 4 cable. So guys, if you have a PlayStation 4 cable, try that. You don't even need HDMI 2.1 cable right now because PlayStation didn't even send you one. So if you need the, place, uh, the HDMI 2.1 cable, actually you will need that for high resolutions like 8K, which is disabled right now. But Xbox did one thing good. I'm not an Xbox fan. I'm not a PlayStation fan. I'm trying to be neutral. I'm just telling you what they sent it to you guys and don't just blindfold it trust companies whatever they're saying this didn't send you the ultra high speed cable which is the hdmi 2.1 and the cable that they send you in the box is hdmi 2.0 b which can go up to 4k 120 hertz and 4k 120 hertz you can do with any hdmi 2.0 cable guys don't just fall for it, whatever Sony is putting in the box. And some people were saying that Sony can, this is, that, that's just the mistake. Because if it's a mistake, I mean, people can go and sue that company just for that stupid mistake or misrepresentation saying that high speed cable is actually HDMI 2.1. If Sony says that, man, that, there's something wrong. So it has to be ultra high speed cable if they're calling it HDMI 2.1 because it has to be 48 gigabits per second speed cable which it is not. So guys, if you like this video, you find this information helpful, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, because I'm gonna be doing different testing and I'm gonna go deep down. I don't know if Digital Foundry has done this test or other tests, but I'm gonna do more tests right here. And I have, I can't just believe that um, Sony has said that, oh, it's HDMI 2.1 and I'm gonna buy that. No, I'm not gonna buy that uh, statement. I'm going to do my own research, see what it is about, and it does not do any higher than this. So you know that chroma subsampling, right? So it cannot do it on PC. If you try to connect the HDMI cable that comes with it, 444, that uh, RGB full, it won't be able to do it. Your screen will show no signal. If you have a RTX 3080, 3090, try to use the HDMI high speed cable. You will see no signal, a lot of other issues with that cable. So that PlayStation 5 cable is not HDMI 2.1. A lot of people have already ordered their HDMI cables, the aftermarket one. And honestly, I'm not using the PlayStation 5 cable. I'm using the Xbox Series X cable right now on the PlayStation 5 because I'm playing exclusive games right now, the Spider-Man. So I'm just want, I just want to make sure that I'm using the right cable. So guys, this is it. Please don't yell. I can feel that you guys are yelling in the comment section in my other video and I can tell by the dislikes there. You can dislike, I mean it's fine, but then you guys say that I didn't do my research and all that. It's kind of a little upsetting and some people say that just stop making the videos, you know? I mean I'll stop making the videos for sure, why not? But guys, when I'm making something right and telling you guys like hey they're not providing you the stuff that you're paying for, the cable you'll have to buy eventually from the Amazon and you'll have to pay like $30, $40 to get a cable, but right now the fact is the HDMI 2.1 cable is not included in the PlayStation 5 box. It's not there. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in another one. It was like I was about to make other videos, but then I got stuck with this because a lot of people were just saying that Digital Foundry has confirmed it and other sources and they were just blindfolded, like trusting, you know, that review, but not listening to me what I'm trying to uh, tell you guys. So this is all I have to say, guys. If you want to dislike, dislike. If you like. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. See you guys in another one. Until then, peace out.